Just as I got up, I found myself facing Eric. What, what are you doing here? Isn't the meeting going on? Nope, that's just what I told you. I sent everyone home and was now waiting for you to steal the painting and run away with it. What? After the painting was stolen from the museum, the FBI contacted me to help them catch the guy they suspected was after it. Does the name Pierre Soufflé ring a bell? Nope, never heard of him. What a dumb name. They told me he would probably strike again. I really didn't suspect you until one of my brothers said something about you looking like a girl we once met in Connecticut, who had a twin. I just couldn't shake that off and wondered if you were hiding something. I had the FBI look into you and most of your information checked out, but then they told me that they'd seen a suspected art thief and a girl your age leave your apartment a few times. Okay, so let me get this straight. Tonight was a trap? How could you trick me? <laughs> Hello? Should I get a mirror for you? You've been tricking me from the very start. That's different. Only if different means exactly the same. You'd really send me to jail? You'd really walk away with that painting? Eric, I have to do this. I don't have a choice. It's to protect everyone I love from Pierre. And I'm guessing that list doesn't include me, does it? As we stared breathlessly at each other, suddenly Pierre's van stopped beside us. Good lord, get the room! And before I knew it, his men had grabbed both me and Eric and put some rags on our faces, and I instantly drifted into unconsciousness. When we came about, Eric and I found ourselves tied to chairs on some boat. Ah, the sleeping beauties are awake just in time for me to say goodbye. You're not getting away with this. Oh, yes, I am. It's not like you were smart enough to call the police to your house when you caught Claire. Yeah, that's your real name. You didn't call the police? What was your plan then? My guess is he was just going to take the painting from you and give you a chance to run away. I think he even gave his own security men the night off. Why would you do that, Eric? Because he wasn't going to send the girl he loves to prison, duh. Eric sat there poker-faced as I glanced at him. Pierre, you got what you wanted. Now keep your end of the deal. Pay up and let us go. Yo, your sister double-crossed me first, which landed you in this mess, remember? I think I'll do the same. Why is there water coming in the boat? Oh, that's because it's got oils everywhere. It's going to sink soon. You two should make up and forgive each other because life's too short to be angry. I mean, literally. Your life is really short. I'd say about another 30 minutes. Adieu. So long. Farewell. And with that, Pierre and his goons left. There has to be some way out. Don't you know how to get out of such situations after all your years as a criminal? I'm a con woman. I don't know how to trick my way out of these ropes. Great. Then I'll just die here with you of all people. Who would you rather die with? Maybe that really pretty, extra smiley waitress at the restaurant you love so much? You know what? Let's just not talk. Fine by me. We sat silently for a few minutes as the water kept seeping in. I've never had boba tea. What? You know, a few years ago when everyone really got into boba tea, and I never had boba tea. I always thought I had time to drink boba tea, and now I'll never drink boba tea. It's nothing special. You didn't miss much. You really mean it? Nah, it's amazing. Who is stopping you from trying boba tea? No one? Ugh, you're the worst. Let's go back to not talking. As we sat there in silence again, I slipped my fingers through Eric's. Eric, I'm so sorry for getting you into this. I really wish I'd never crossed your path. He pushed my hand away. For the first time today, I agree with you. Just then, the door burst open, and Meredith came running in. Thank God, Em. I knew you'd come for me. You could have told me too. I would have panicked less. Hi, Eric. Remember me? We kissed once. We'll talk more later. Gotta go now. Meredith cut through our ropes quickly, and we splashed through the water, climbed onto the paddle boat outside, and rowed back to shore. I had a feeling Pierre was up to no good. I followed his van to Eric's house and saw him take you two and bring you here. I had to wait for him to leave before I could rescue you, and that jerk left without giving us a dime. We have to get that painting back. He can't get away with it. What is so special about that stupid painting? Why is it for $10 million? Apparently, it's worth much more. My grandmother bought it at some auction a few years ago, but I don't think she ever knew its real worth. The FBI told me that painting has hidden codes all over it. Sensitive government secrets and coordinates of underground facilities, and Pierre wants to sell those secrets to the highest bidder. Jeez. Ugh, trust stupid men to make everything so complicated. Who put codes in a painting? Who wants them now? What is wrong with everybody? All I ever wanted from life was to go to Bora Bora, and now we have no money! If you girls know anything about where he's going, help me catch him. 
I'll tell the FBI you were helping me all along and you'll go scot-free. Free, but poor. Should I offer you a reward for helping me get back a painting you stole from me? That would be polite, yeah. Meredith, do you have any idea where Pierre's going? Yeah, yeah. I've bugged everything that man owns. His phone, his coat, his shoes, that painting. I know where he's going. Oh, by the way, Mom wants us to come home. She says she has something important to tell us. And yeah, her memory is back, and she's very angry we made her marry Arthur. What? Uh, more about that later. Eric immediately got in touch with his FBI contacts, who picked us up from our spot and followed Meredith's trackers on Pierre. He was headed for a train at the Grand Central Station, and seconds before he was about to get onto his ride, he was surrounded by officers. Don't manhandle me, you orangutans! My outfit costs more than your yearly salary! I lose the day I ever laid eyes on you two! I'll make sure I take you down with me! I'm taking all your coats, Pierre. They fit me perfectly, you tiny mafia boss. Get used to an orange jumpsuit, because you'll be wearing that for a long time. As the FBI officers took him away, I turned to Eric with a worried face. He'll give them information against us. You've helped recover a really important painting and capture a criminal the FBI has been trying to nail for ages. I promise, I won't let you get into any trouble. Thank you. We stood there in awkward silence. Okay, this is super uncomfortable. Do you guys need privacy to talk or something? I'll grab us some hot dogs. Do you want relish or mustard or... No, actually. I think we're done here. I have to go. Good luck and goodbye, Chris, uh, Claire. Goodbye, Eric. Meredith and I took the next flight to Connecticut to see Mom back at her old house, and I was really happy to see her with her memory back. And then, Mom shocked us with her whole story. Many years ago. I was a government scientist in Russia, working on top-secret technology. And our team leader wanted to sell it to an enemy country. I refused to do that, and destroyed the technology. And after that I had to go on the run, because I knew those traitors would come after me. I had a boyfriend, and he recently found out I was pregnant. So I never told him about you girls and just escaped. I settled in America, and took on the identity of a helpless mom living in the suburbs. Before I left Russia, I set up this laptop as a way to communicate with my father, who sent me a little money every few months to get by. I was even afraid of working in any place for too long, as being part of any system by which I could be tracked down. Whoa! Mom, that's insane! And so cool! I'm sorry we never had much, but I was glad you grew up independent and resourceful. Then I finally recovered my memory a week ago. I was able to access the laptop and get in touch with my father. He hadn't heard from me in so long, he thought I wasn't even alive anymore. He told me that the traitors working on the project are all behind bars now. It's safe for me to go home. So we're going to Russia? Man, it's so cold there. I always wanted to go to- Bora Bora, I know. That's all you said growing up. We'll visit Russia to see my family. And then we'll go anywhere you girls want. Mom, we're kinda poor, especially since you've left Arthur too. Oh, but my family isn't poor at all. I come from old money. We've been rich forever. There is a god out there. Thank you, thank you. Claire, we're finally going to Bora Bora. Yeah, it's everything we ever wanted. I tried to be as excited about the trip as Mom and Meredith, but my heart felt heavy. I wish things had ended with Eric on a better note. On the bright side, I got to meet Freddy, and I was so pleased when he introduced me to his lovely girlfriend. I'm so happy for you, Freddy, and I don't know if I can ever thank you for everything. You're amazing. I know. Just don't forget about me and come to visit, okay? On the day of our flight to Russia, we just reached the airport when Mom and Meredith turned to me with strange smiles on their faces. Uh, what's going on? Here's your ticket. That's a ticket for New York. Why, are we going there? No, Mom and I are going to Russia, then Bora Bora. You're going to New York. What? Why would I do that? Come on, Claire. You've been so mopey lately. I can't stand your face anymore. Just go talk to Eric, okay? You're in love with him. And even though he's way out of your league, he loves you too. And that's something you shouldn't give up on so easily. Pretty sure he hates me now. Claire, go meet him once. You'll regret not trying. And in case it doesn't work out, you know where to find us, love. Go get him, loser. 
Mom and Meredith hugged me, and I felt tears flowing down my face fast as I turned away. Suddenly, I got the wind knocked out of me as Meredith gave me a bear hug. I can't say this with you looking at me directly, so don't turn around, okay? I love you more than anyone in the world, sis. You're my BFF and my soulmate and my better half, so you better not stay away too long because of some stupid boy. No one's ever coming between us, Em. I love you too, and I'll see you soon. As I walked out onto the New York airport, I was feeling so nervous about visiting Eric that I accidentally bumped into a man's luggage cart and went down with the suitcases. Are you blind? You blind idiot? It was an accident, sir. You don't have to be so rude. You don't have to be so blind, you blind idiot. You're so obnoxious. I grabbed the bagel the man was holding, threw it on the floor, and started jumping on it. As I continued jumping and he kept yelling, I suddenly found Eric by my side. I'm sorry, sir. She hasn't taken her meds today. So sorry. Jeez, what's with your temper? He started it, and what are you doing here? You texted me that you were coming and wanted me to pick you up. You said it was an emergency? Oh, I'm guessing that was Meredith. Yep, but I did come to New York just to see you, Eric. So I might as well say my piece now, which I've been rehearsing on the plane and I've forgotten every single word. Dang it. Okay, okay, I'll just spit it out. Look, I'm really sorry about the tricking and the lying and stealing and hitting your brother and endangering your life. The one thing that wasn't part of this assignment was falling for you, but I just couldn't help it right from the start. In fact, you made me fall for you years ago and I often wondered what had happened to you. I really wish we'd met again under different circumstances, and I know I don't deserve another chance, but here I am, asking for one anyway. Well, they say third time's the charm. They do say that, whoever they are. Just as Eric pulled me closer, we suddenly found ourselves surrounded by federal agents. Did you set me up? I swear I didn't. Ma'am, there's no need to panic. We got notified about your arrival in New York when you checked in for your flight. We've also apprehended your sister before she could leave for Russia. We've been looking for you girls for a long time, actually, but you always managed to get away. Now we have a deal for you. Come work for us and help us nail some con artists, and you'll have a clean slate. Are you offering me a job? Yes, and a really well-paying one. The only catch is that you two will have to serve six months jail time first. We have to do that as a formality. No, officer, there has to be another way. Eric, wait, it's okay. I think I need to do this actually. Maybe we got away for too long without any consequences. If this gives me a chance to start over fresh, I'm willing to do it. What about Meredith? Oh, she's gonna be pissed, but she'll do it for me. So, will you come see me in prison? It's a date. How many weeks has it been here already? It's just been two days. Oh god, I was so close to Bora Bora. And you're so ugly and orange. How am I supposed to look at you for six months? I think you're actually happy we're getting to spend more time together. You know, since I'm your BFF and soulmate and better half. <laughs> that was so cheesy. Ow! 